We're gonna wrap the show up with a uh, combat corner and discuss um, our new segment to the show. Um, that we discuss all things MMA, boxing, all different things in the combat world. Rudy, how do you want to kick off this segment? I'm, I'm sorry, I gotta, I'm sorry, I gotta let the listeners know. So we have a little side chat on a on a, next to us, and Donald's been telling us to shut the fuck up and listen for the past five to ten minutes. That's just fucking hilarious to me. I'm, I have. You keep me talking. And, me and Rudy get it. You were talk- okay. I'm sorry. I muted myself. You literally kept talking. I just know how passionate that me and Rudy right, bro. about things, man. We, we my damn it. rant took longer because you wouldn't stop talking either. Shit. What you oh, gonna have to take? We'll see. Anyhow, the, I, I had the pleasure of going to the bare knuckle fighting championship on Friday night. I was a guest of uh, All In Sports Management. Um, they had a couple of fighters on that card. Um, if people haven't seen bare knuckle fighting, it is as exciting a sport as there is. It is not boxing. It is not MMA. There's no kicking. For those that don't know, it is straight bare knuckle hands. You're throwing hands. And in this particular event, they had it outside at Dolphin Mall in Miami. And they had it in a ring that was the size of a phone booth. When I say they had you, if you were six foot tall, you, your reach would have you at the middle of the ring. It was that tight. It was... I mean, you have no choice but to fight. There's no running around. There's no circling. It is you're throwing, throwing, throwing. Typically, they have a bigger ring, but for this, they had a smaller one. It was an awesome experience. Um, I've been to bare knuckle stuff before. I enjoyed a great deal. I, you know, some former MMA fighters are doing it because they really had no no ground game. So it's not, you know, the UFC or Bellator or whatever organization before wasn't conducive to them. But I had the chance. But Howard Davis... This kid, um, six two and one, he had a big second round finish um, over Sean Wilson. He was the main event. He's a Broward County guy from South Florida. You know, he was coming off of a loss in the cha- in a championship fight where he just didn't look right that night for whatever reason. But this kid has fought five times in twelve months, and that's one thing about these bare knuckle guys. They're gonna fight. They're not taking six months off, eight months off, nine months off. They're coming to fight, and they fight, and they fight, and they fight. The stuff is exciting. The environment is dope. I went to it at the Hard Rock a few months ago as well. But when um, another one of All In's fighters was was on that card, um, Brian Duran El Gallo, tough ass dude. I mean, one of the, I mean, a great great fight in that in that card. But there was, I mean, enjoyed it very much. Rosa Rodriguez is another fighter on All In. She won her fight in the co-main event. That fight, these, just so people know, it's five rounds, two-minute rounds. These are quick rounds. It's boom, boom, boom. You know, and the first round, she got unloaded on big time, and she ate a lot of shots. But she, that, the other girl, um, Monica Franco, she, she gassed out, and, and Rosa just started teeing off on her ass. I mean, and she stopped her. I think it was in the third round. <clears throat> there was a couple of quick knockouts as well. I mean, there. That's the one thing about bare knuckle. You're not going to see in the UFC often. I mean, these, there are some fights that last 10 seconds, 15 seconds. You don't see that as much in the UFC. Um, are they as skilled as MMA fighters? Probably not. You know, but for what? But asking them MMA got to go over this. It is Mike Perry loves it. He's a main event in a couple of months against Tiago Alves. So there are lots of MMA guys that do go over after you know they're tired of having kicking legs. They'll throw hands, but. Awesome event. I enjoyed it a great deal. Thank you to Victor Demesman and, and All In Management. You know, awesome event. So, uh, and we'll be at a lot of these going forward. I, I do have some video that I posted um, of that fight, and I will be putting together another compilation of, of the fights so people can take a look. And then finally, on Saturday, we have uh, another UFC fight. Oh, by the way, BKFC has fights literally every weekend until the end of April. Every Saturday, there's another card. So go check it out. They put it on Fubu TV. And um, next, but this Saturday, you have Rose Namajunas. Thug Rose is back in the cage, in octagon. She's fighting against Amanda Hibas. And the rest of the card is whatever. But Thug Rose is back in the cage and, you know, looking forward to seeing what if she's uh, going to be the fighter that we used to see or if she's one that's going to be on the retirement block soon enough. So excited to see that one. 
that's all I got for this weekend. Um, back to you, Donald. I like awesome. pairing up with you in the fucking ring right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.